Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your extremely handsome, horrific science teacher. And in this video, we are going to be talking about how waves interact with the environment. So in other videos, I have talked about waves and the structure of waves, the anatomy of waves, and we've talked about uh, the uh, amplitude and what is amplitude and what affects amplitude. And I've also in another video talked about light and actually talked about some of the same things we're going to talk about in this video as we talked about light. So you can refer to those videos if you would like to. In this video, we're going to focus specifically, uh, as specificamente, on how waves interact with the environment. So just as a quick review, uh, waves are these uh, things that uh, when energy moves through an environment and it goes up and down and up and down as it moves uh, through the environment, and it is the energy that is moving and not the material itself, other than up and down. But the material, the substance, doesn't move forward. Well, what happens when a wave hits an object? Let's say a wave is traveling through, we'll just say water, because that you're familiar with that. And that wave hits the shore, or it hits a dock, or a, you know pillars or something, a boat. What happens when waves strike or come into contact with different substances? That's the question we're trying to answer, and that's what you want to understand by the time we get to the end of this video. And there is some vocabulary that you're gonna need to become familiar with because scientists like to impress people by making up complicated words instead of using regular words. So uh, we're going to join in their delirium and learn the words that, th that they use, okay, the scientists use. So uh, those words are uh, transmission, uh, absorption, and reflection. And we're also going to learn the word uh, transparent and translucent and uh, opaque. So we'll go through all of those words and what they mean uh, as we go through this video. So let's imagine a wave is going along on its merry way, minding its own business. Uh, this time, instead of a water wave, let's do like a sound wave. And it's traveling through the air, minding its own business, and it hits the side of a mountain. Well, what's it going to do? Uh, the wa waves, when they strike an object are gonna do one of three things, okay? They're either going to uh, perhaps bounce off of the object and keep traveling in another direction. And what do we call that? We call that reflection. Like when I look in a mirror and I see this fantastic reflection looking back at me, that's the light waves of my handsome face bouncing off the mirror and coming back towards me. Uh, or an echo, would be sound waves echoing off of the, or reflecting off of the side of the mountain. They're coming back to me. That's why I can yell, hello, and the mountain says, hello, back to me, uh, copying my own voice, uh, because that's my own sound waves bouncing off the cliff and coming back to me. Yeah, it's reflection. Or they might be absorbed. Uh, so sometimes in a sound studio, the sound engineers will cover the inside of the sound studio with like foam and stuff because that absorbs sound. You don't want an echo. That would sound weird when you're making a recording. So they want to absorb the sound. Okay. We call that absorption. And sometimes it will go right through the object and just keep going in a straight 
line. Now, obviously, sound waves aren't going to go through a cliff because that's too big. But uh, we think, what about a like uh, a cloth, a material, a curtain? I can get behind a curtain, I can hide, and I can talk, and you're going to hear my voice coming through the curtain, no problem, because it, my voice is going to go through the curtain. We call that transmission when a wave goes through an object. So there are three of the fancy sciencey words that we talked about. Okay, reflection is when a wave bounces off an object. Absorption is when the wave is is uh, is absorbed. It's taken into the object. And uh, what did I forget? Transmission is when the wave goes through, it's transmitted through the object or substance. So you can think of examples of this in your everyday life, can you not? Uh, what's an example of, uh, so I want you to think, uh, and I've already given you an answer, of a sound wave being reflected. Okay, so again, echoing, right? Uh, shouting hello, or if you're in a parking garage or uh, in a stairwell and it's so echoey that you can't think as you're talking, you're trying to have a conversation in a stairwell, but you just it's insane and difficult because your voices are echoing all over the place and it's so distracting. Okay, that's reflection. Uh, and I am absolutely not speaking in from personal experience, uh, possibly the school where I used to teach. And the stairwell, oh my gosh, taking students through that stairwell was awful because it was so loud and echoey. Anyway, uh, the next thing is uh, give me an example or think of an example of a sound wave being absorbed. Okay, see, I should be doing something different. Let's do light waves because I've already given you all the answers for sound waves. What's an example of light wave being reflected? It would be a mirror. What's an example of a light wave being absorbed by an object? Well, a example that I can think of, and hopefully you are able to think of one as well, might be like a black shirt. Black absorbs all the light into it, and the light becomes trapped there forever and ever, okay? and it doesn't go through. What's an example of a light wave being transmitted or passing through something? You can think of this. Yeah. Uh, what What about a window? Right. Light goes right through the window. It's transmitted through the window. So objects that uh, cannot, the light can't go through because it's either absorbed or reflected, are called opaque. And that is a fancy fancy word you need to remember. Opaque. Opaque means that the light cannot go through it because it's either absorbed or into the object or it's reflected off of the object. Objects that light can go through are called uh, transparent. If the light goes through an object, it's transmitted through, we call it transparent. And now there's one more uh, kind of halfway between, uh, which is translucent, where the light does go through it, but not uh, undisturbed. As it goes through it, it's scattered. It's messed up, or waves. I'm saying light now because we're talking about light, but waves. Uh, the waves are all jumbled up and scattered, and so uh, that would be a translucent object. For example, a uh, if you look at a lot of... Uh, actually, let me give you... I was going to say a, a lot of lights, but I'm going to give you a better example. Milk. Milk's a great example of something that's translucent. If I take milk and a gallon of milk, and I hold up a light, a flashlight next to it, and shine it through in a dark room, I'm going to see the light come out the other side of the milk. Uh, but it's, I'm not going to see the flashlight. I'm not going to see a picture. It's not going to be clear because it's that light's been all scattered through the milk. The light waves have been all scattered up and mixed up. That's translucent. Okay. Um, can you think of something that might be translucent to sound? In other words, the sound's going to go through the object, but it's going to be muffled. Those sound waves are going to be scattered, and so the sound is going to sound muffled, muffled-fied, mufflinated, muffle-rated. Anyway, 
uh, maybe a wall. Maybe you live in an apartment building and you have neighbors and your walls are too thin and you can hear the sound, but you can't hear it clearly. And it's hard to hear what they're saying, perhaps, but you can hear their muffled voices. Okay. That would be translucent. If it was transparent, it'd be more like the curtain we talked about, where the sound would come through clear and you would be able to understand. You wouldn't have to strain to hear what your neighbor's private conversations were. Uh, and yeah, you could spy on them more easily. So, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how waves interact with their environments. I have a fly trying to fly on my face. Uh, yeah. So waves travel on minding their own business. They come into contact with uh, things and substances and things, and they either tr go straight through them without any problem, and then we call that transparent, right, to that kind of wave. They reflect off of them, or they are absorbed and murdered by the object, uh, and that would be absorption. Uh, objects that uh, absorb or reflect are called opaque, Objects that the wave can go through are called transparent. And objects that are sort of halfway between that muffle or scatter are called translucent. And that is it. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your, uh, your science student. So sign up. Subscribe to the channel and I release lots of videos also in addition to these ones lots of little uh, Short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted and those ones are scripted So you don't have to hear me Like you are right now going blah 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 the end uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye